It's got lots of signs of wear, look, on the shoulders. But do I give a crap though? Happy Tuesday. So I thought I should do a video today on key fall pieces that we have and how to just elevate them a little bit and how to make them look just a little bit more rich and luxe. It's just another way to just get a good mileage out of the pieces that you've already got. First one is um, tailored coats. Now getting yourself a good tailored coat is, I don't say it's mandatory because it's your closet, you can do all the F you want with it, but I think it's one of the best, easiest ways, right, to just have um, a sleek, well put together silhouette and a tailored coat is number one the fastest way to get there this is a really good example of one that i have this is a men's coat which is another tip which i'll talk about later on and it is a charcoal gray it's actually coming out a little bit blown out it's a bit darker than it's showing you on the screen it is heavy as crap as well but it is ultra long and I think that is the key when you're looking for a really good tailored coat look for something that a is has that structure that really strong shoulder because that instantly just gives you that tailored look instantly just as soon as you slip it on but make sure it's also a little bit extra long as well which this one is it is ultra long I feel like when it's extra long it kind of looks a little bit more expensive versus something that's shorter that looks like you borrowed it from your kid's sister or you just you're wearing something just to make do but when you get something that's extra long it just has a feeling of luxe and luxuriousness to it i think personally get it in a color as well obviously you guys know this already but neutrals are usually the best but you can do it in other colors as well like in jewel tone colors it would really look stunning like if this was a plain navy coat this would look absolutely chef's kiss even like a tan colored you know about my camel coats already you know how much i love that camel coat same principle this gray one as well really long that's the common thread in all of them um i also i like the fact that it's lined with this like satin it's got inside pockets because this is a men's coat and men's coat tends to as well like i said oversized like a nice long uh, vent split at the back there so it has all the characteristics and the, and the hallmarks of what would look like an expensive coat it was less than 100 for this coat i can't remember but it's absolutely gorgeous when you're out and about and you're looking for coats whether it's in a high street shop or a vintage shop look at the details of it if the buttons look a bit weird a bit naff don't worry because everything else about the coat is gorgeous you can easily switch the buttons out look at that it just looks so, to me, this looks so expensive and more expensive than what I paid for. And it is just one of those things that it's gonna stand the test of time in your wardrobe and it's not going anywhere. Just look out for a really beautiful tailored coat. <laughs> to look expensive or have your full clothes especially going into winter look a bit more higher end to dress monochromatically now this works in the summer as well but I think especially during the fall and the winter that is when it really kicks in and it starts to look like really like a high-end look and you could just put a head-to-toe look of things from the high street whether it's your jacket your blazer a puffer the sweater under it which is a similar color then you wear like a jogging you can even wear a jogging pant a jogging pant underneath at, at the bottom here and it's the same kind of cream color as a puffer and the sweater and then the pair of cream boots like my my sam edelman boots which are right here right and you would add finish with these and then immediately you've got a head-to-toe look that looks expensive it looks like you found these pieces from somewhere that's kind of you know a bit more higher end but you haven't. All you've done is just you've taken the color palette and placed them together. And that is a very easy stylist trick that anyone can do at any point in time. But in the fall and winter, I think it looks especially good because I feel like most people kind of, 
they wear a black coat and it doesn't matter what colors are underneath and they're out the door. And I'm talking about like the shoes, the bags and everything. But when you have a theme to it, and they don't have to be exactly the same shade, as long as they're like two to three shades on either side of the spectrum, lighter or darker, but they're from the same color family, then it just looks so good. And also you can add one piece just to add depth and to anchor. For example, when I gave like the cream example of that outfit, you don't have to wear like those boots, the cream boots that I have. Because it's cream, I would go with like a darker brown boot, like something in a chocolate color, a tan color, and that kind of looks really, it looks complementary together. Just monochromatic looks to me are absolutely timeless. They look so good together and they scream chic. They scream effortless and you can do it with whichever your favorite color family or palette is. Another really easy trick. It's not even a trick. It's just, I think it's like a staple now because I think everybody on this video who's watching this video, you're gonna know about this, but it is worth repeating. A good pair of sunglasses, it finishes. They stand alone in the category of accessories that absolutely will elevate, take up a couple of notches your look. You could just be wearing jogging pants and a sweatshirt, but then you add some really cool glasses like a pair of black glasses they're like kind of black out but are suited to your shape like your face shape and instantly you look like it's a look do you know what i mean and it's such an easy way to 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 create that i have these both of these are inexpensive relatively speaking these are ray-bans these are foldable ray-bans these are classics as it gets ray-ban wayfarers i feel like you know when you don't know go with something like a ray-ban something like this really easy it's just something to just give that kind of final look to anything you're wearing it's black so it tends to just kind of go in place with everything you've already got even with that camel that i just showed you that whole camel outfit you could have worn the black because black and camel look so good together these are a size up i got these from love day these are like i think there's like 15 20 dollars like 20 dollars something like that very inexpensive right but these are the kind of tricks these are the kind of little things that really make a difference worth it worth it 100 percent worth it it will definitely add a finisher to your look accessories now jewelry is another category I feel like it's sometimes overlooked or just wearing a chunky piece over a jumper and for me I've been wearing Mazoma I think for about three years now if you see me on my Instagram stories you've already seen how I've just been wearing literally for the past few years and I partnered with them for this part of the video to having their Black Friday sale and it's actually live from now and you get 25% off of Mazoma jewelry now they only do this once a year I remember saying this exact sentence this time last year and it's true they do not do this normally but 25% off for Mazoma jewelry and like I said I have it's probably the, the most consistent jewelry that I have worn throughout the years out of everything that I own if you've ever considered trying it this is this is the opportunity because of that discount for black friday sale i've had these pieces for a while they look great as the day that i first got them first off i'm going to show you this necklace it doesn't actually normally come with this particular pendant but i just clipped it on and i've told you about these clip-ons so you clip these on to anything and come a bit closer so you can see this you clip it on to anything that you've already got and it just adds a little something but the necklace as you can see all by itself is really nice because you see how it's got like large like loops like large um links on one side and small on the other i love to wear smaller earrings generally speaking you probably notice that anyway 
Um, but these hoops, I think this is the chubby hoops and these are like the mini ones. I love these, they're really, really simple. They're so cool and they're lightweight. They're actually, there's a pendant that you lot really love. Hold on, let me show you. This is clipped on, this is clipped on as well. Look at that necklace. One link is plain and one link is um, like got a twisted design to it. It's just stunning. And so all I did was just add this pendant. You guys always ask in my Instagram stories about this particular combination. And I hardly ever wear them separately because I just like the combination together. I like this one as well because of that green. Look at that, look at that color gorgeous emerald color whether you're gifting like you want to get um, a gift or something for like your your mum your sister your best friend like your best mate brother this is a really good opportunity to get them a piece from Nozoma for that discount actually I got Paula um, one of these actually when I was in London just a couple more of my favorite pieces that I've had from Mazoma actually the only new piece is the beaded necklace that I added recently but these two I've had for a while the um, flat chain I've also had this for a while but I like to wear it just to layer either by itself or I will layer it with um, pendants like these two um, the largest pendant is the Lucy Williams rising sun medallion um, pendant or necklace and look at the chain as well and then above it I've got another one I believe that's a Lucy Williams piece as well that little small one but it just looks so nice when you layer them together and that's why I like just wearing the pieces so much it's just easy just to layer so it's a completely different look it's a nice collection that I've built up over the past three years I want to say it's just chop and change and just wear them however I want also you could go on the Mazoma website and if you just search by my name you should see like um, a list it will pull up a list of some of my favorite pieces or my wishlist pieces from Mazoma as well and for the third year running Mazoma has partnered with Tree Sisters and what they do is they plant a tree for every order that is placed. I was in London and I was wearing the Mazoma, the chunky necklace, the one that you saw with the padlock. And um, she was asking me, a friend I was with, where did you get that padlock? And when I said it was Mazoma, she went, really? Like, I don't know, I think, you know, cause it kind of has a vintage look to it, but because it has, it just looks Again, it just looks more expensive than what it is. So I still have the same jewellery from three years ago and I'm still wearing them to this day. But it's a nice way to elevate your looks. Alright, so I'm going to leave the links for you below and do let me know if you partake in the Black Friday sale and get anything for 25% off. Good time of the year to get it because they won't do it again until next year. <music>
this vintage blazer stunning it's like a i call this shaft but for women look at the oversized lapel and the color i will always add a bit of vintage in it's just the the way this it's the way this shit was made it's just so much but look at the pocket the pocket it's just the pocket this is really worn in and it's got lots of signs of wear look on the shoulders but do i give a crap though i think that gives it more character i embrace the patina of things and i just think they just look so much better speaking of patina i have worn this thing to death over the years this um paneled leather and suede trench coat in this stunning kind of deep cornflower blue it's beautiful it's just the colors of these things this green bottle green is coming out brighter but it's actually a bottle green color um coat that i own as well it's absolutely beautiful but when you put these things on it just adds to your full wardrobe if you're a lover of vintage and like i am please tell me in the comments you see me adding luxury items designer pieces don't be fooled into thinking that that is now karen is going to be that way only i will always add vintage and thrifted items because there's too much good shit out there <laughs> there just is and it's just the way i have shopped is in my blood it's from the markets growing up in London and I will still always hunt down really good vintage finds because that is what makes any of this stuff behind me that you see look way cooler. Because when you dress head to toe in designer, the labels are wearing you versus the other way around. And I've never really found it particularly um, creative to just wear designer stuff and to wear it in a way as well. Cause it's, cause you can wear designer stuff and look really cool. Cause I've shot people during street style who I'm thinking of right now, who will wear like head to toe designer. It's just well-made clothes, but the way they put it together, that's what matters. And I think that's what it is. Whether you wear designer, whether you wear high street, whether you wear thrift, vintage from a Salvation Army, you're an Oxfam. Common thread is your ability to put it together in a way that looks cool. And I think that's what the essence of this video is. It's about how to make things look cool and how to make them look like it's quality as well. your wardrobe is to cross genres i'm talking sexes when you are shopping it doesn't matter how you identify yourself shop in all the sections because you pigeonhole yourself into what is presented to you from the shops the cut of menswear is different and because it's different it plays to our women generally speaking have curves men don't and they cut for no curves and because they have that straight boxy kind of look to them that's the sweet spot that's what makes them look so cool all my row of vintage and thrift blazers are men's i just love the way they fit it's just they give your look a more generous luxurious feel and look because the shoulders are bigger than your shoulders they're longer here than yours when something feels cheap, it tends to not be cut correctly on you. It'll, it'll fall shorter on your limbs. It will be a little bit tighter than it should be, like it's ill-fitting. Clothes which read as luxe, as costing more, as looking, the perception of them looks like it's elevated. They tend to have a drape. Uh, they have a swing, a weight to them. The density of the material is usually thicker for men's. That in itself gives the illusion that it costs more because things which usually cost more tend to have a thicker material. So you see where I'm going with all of this. Um, and also men who shop in the, you know, traditionally women's section, I noticed they, they also pick up things which look so surprisingly refreshing on them because it's not supposed to be for them. But when they wear it, it looks badass, whether it could be a guy wearing 
a women's skirt and they'll layer it over a trouser, right? So I'll wear something like this skirt and they'll just wear like a trouser underneath and just wear like a boot. And it's just that and they're just a really cool like cropped jacket. But it's that overall silhouette that they've created and just adding a woman's skirt to it. It just looks so unique and it reads to me as not cheap. It reads as something they may have got from like Yoji Yamamoto or from Maison Margiela, you know, for those kind of really contemporary looks that I just think look so cool on them, on guys and girls. Open your eyes to cross, cross dressing. <laughs> I'm just going to cross dressing to shopping and crisscrossing into the different departments, men's and women's, even boys as well. Because if you're small framed, I find that, you know, sometimes you think that things overwhelm your frame. You're very, very small. Look in the men's, look in the boys section, sorry, and look at the larger sizes of their outerwear. Nine times out of 10, you'll probably find something that's gonna fit you to a T. Now, another place where I personally get my inspiration from to just step out and just trying to step up my wardrobe year round, actually, but you know, obviously during the fall as well, to make it look that look, to make your outfit look a bit better, just look a bit more elevated, is to just get inspiration down the high street. And in terms of, I'm talking about the shops. Now, I find that often when shops display their items together, like the way they merchandise them, I think it looks quite smart and it can look quite cleverly done in some cases. Um, whether it's just a mannequin that you walk past in the shop, you go, mm, I like the way they tied that over that coat or the way they put that with that. I wouldn't have thought to put that shirt underneath that knit underneath. Keep your eyes open and I think you will see some inspiration that way. Also, even just in the store window as well, often that's where they try and really like kind of claw you in, like really bring you in. Just look at what how they've styled the mannequins. And the last one is just to know what works for your shape. What works for it? I'm five foot seven. Um, I usually am smaller up top and one size bigger underneath at the bottom my arms and legs are long i have long limbs and so because i know those general things about my shape i tend to and i have small light switches i tend to size up on my clothes this uh, faux leather skirt i sized up on it because i wanted it to sit low actually you know what i'm going to show you something really quickly this isn't really part of the video but sod it i don't care i'm going to show you a little trick there you go i've literally worn it the other way, I just turned it back to front. But this is just a little style hack between you and me. These pockets sit on your bum, but I kind of look like the look of just spinning the skirt around. So it just creates like a completely different vibe. So the button is in the back, and you just got like this, you know, like this kind of like 70s vibe with the pockets in the front. There you go. One little tip for you, just to elevate your wardrobe straight away and to get like a two for one with your skirts. I'll link this skirt for you below. But know your body shape. And once you understand it, just the basics of it, you start to understand what you should avoid and what you can gravitate to, to make your full wardrobe or your clothes in general just look better. Somebody messaged me and they said, you know, Karen, I have wide shoulders. What do you suggest that I can wear? Like, I don't know what to wear that flatters me. And I was telling her the one thing I said to her was avoid the kind of coats like those men's coats that have like already a very defined wide straight square cut corners i call them try not to go for those because they'll make you look like a linebacker go for like a drop shoulder coat those minimize your shoulders visually speaking it softens your shoulders a broad shoulder line and it draws attention away from them so that is one tip straight off and then if you go another layer on top of that which is to get it in the darker color anything darker tends to minimize and anything brighter does the opposite like what I'm wearing now so go with something that's like tends to be darker whether it's the jackets and the coats your shirt anything you get up here tend to get it in darker colors because that visually also minimizes the width and the breadth like the broadness of your shoulders if you know your body shape then you can try and like focus in on the kind of full pieces that complement you I hope that you got some ideas. Do not forget the Mazoma, 25% off. This is the only time they do it, okay? This is the only time. Tag me on Instagram if you get anything. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I have a Chanel giveaway going on. I will give away a Chanel 
cav caviar leather black gold hardware card holder to a random subscriber only worldwide once i hit 300 subscribers that will go out to somebody so anyway that is it my loves um i don't think there's anything else and i will see you on uh, friday okay oh friday i believe is going to be what everyone is wearing in new york i know i know it's been a while but um yeah get your cup of tea sit down put your feet up enjoy it and that's coming this friday anyway i'll see you on instagram between now and then or tiktok bye